Hi there. The next book I'm going to talk about is in the military history field, and it's this one. Vulcan 607 by Roland White. And on the cover, Jeremy Clarkson says, I more than enjoyed it. It could have been written especially for me. And I'm sure a lot of the readers would feel the same. It's about the Black Buck raids during the Falklands War. And the Falklands War, to quote a naval phrase, was a damn close run thing. Um, a lot of the warships, uh, our warships the, from the Royal Navy, were due to be scrapped or sold off. And the Vulcans were also uh, in the process of being decommissioned from frontline service. So um, what it does prove is the inability of politicians to, to predict what kind of war or what kind of conflict we're going to be facing in the future. And less than 10 years after the Falklands, we were fighting a desert war, uh, the first Gulf War. So uh, predictions are always a little bit suspect. I'm trying to um, uh, schedule what kind of equipment we're, we're going to need in the future, um, I think is beyond most of the politicians. The Vulcan uh, was part of the V-bomber fleet and it was desire, designed as a high altitude strategic penetrator to attack the Soviet Union. Um, later, this was found to be impractic impractical due to the air defense and it was um, um, deployed as a low level uh, attack aircraft. And in this role, um, it, it, they found that it was able to outmaneuver even the, the um, very new uh, American fighter jets because its massive Delta platform made it uh, be able to turn very, very quickly and, um, as I say, could outmaneuver um, the fast jets. So it, it was an amazing and an iconic aircraft. The um, plan to um, attack Port Stanley Airfield, which was the Black Book Raids, uh, proved to be the longest bombing raid in history. They had to go from Ascension Island right down to the Falklands. And to do this, it had to be uh, refueled. The first problem was the refueling probes on most of the Vulcans had been decommissioned. Uh, some of them were filled with concrete and so on. So they had to uh, find a source for them and they took them off uh, aircraft from museums and all sorts of things and then practice air-to-air -air refueling from the Victor uh, tankers. To get um, two Vulcans onto the target took, I think it was 11 tankers uh, in, in various brackets. Some of the tankers refueled other tankers and so on. Um, in the event when the raid commenced, one of the Vulcans um, had to return to base almost immediately due to a pressurization fault. So it was only 607 uh, was able to continue to the target. And the refueling, uh, which Roland White makes very, very clear in the book, um, in very tense passages, was done at night obviously in the dark, um, all under radio silence. So all, all these aircraft were refueling each other in those conditions, which was an amazing feat of flying, really. And in the event, um, 607 got to Zog and actually um, got a bomb onto the runway at Port Stanley, which um, was a big step in denying the use of that airfield to the Argentinian forces. The um, Vulcan uh, was eventually decommissioned, but before it was, I, I was at an air show at RAF Creedon Hill down in Hereford, and uh, while they were still in service in the 80s, and uh, one of them put on a, a demonstration, and to see a big Delta Wing form engine bomber loop the loop, do a con complete loop, was absolutely amazing. Roland White has written several other books um, with a military aviation theme, and I'm actually reading his latest at the moment, uh, Harrier 809, which again is about the Falklands and about the Harrier jets and the Falklands. 
and it goes into a, a lot of stuff that's only fairly recently been de declassified about how we deployed um, surveillance aircraft and uh, radars down into Chile um, with um, the COVID cooperation of the Chilean government and the performance of the Harrier, which uh, the, the Ministry of Defence itself reckoned was inferior to the uh, some of the Argentinian aircraft. And it proved not to be the case. It proved to be um, superior to some of them. Um, nevertheless, the Argentinian pilots were very, very skilled and very, very uh, brave and aggressive. And again, it was a, a close run thing. So that's his latest book, and I'd recommend that one as well. Um, he makes aviation um, very, very exciting, but at the same time, he explains it very, very well. For example, in the Harrier book, he, he explains why the Sidewinder 9 Lima model was so important and things like this, which um, uh, are quite, uh, quite a revelation to someone like me who's got no real background in, in that kind of thing at all. But he puts it all into place, put, uh, makes the, the whole jigsaw fit together. So again, Vulcan 607, really great book.